Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm very happy today to show you all the new items uh, you're gonna find in Quick UV Pro 3.0. So first of all, I got a reminder here. Um, if you want to rotate the texture here, you can with this button, by default it is 90 degree, okay? You also have here some incrementation to be more accurate. But uh, just keep in mind, it uh, only works with um, square texture, okay? So let's add a plane here. Okay, we can copy the material here. We're gonna add some loop cuts. Okay, now you can select your face and tell rotate 45, okay. And here, rotate uh, minus 45, all right. Okay, if you enter in the modal um, with this button, you can do like so, and then scale or rotate with control, you got all the incrementation, okay. You've got another shortcut um, to call this model operator. This is Control Middle Mouse, and then you can enter the UV. Um, most of the shortcuts are available here, so you can manage and change it if you want. Um, for the UI, if you enter in model mode. You have this title here and some shortcut here. If you press T, you can manage the size and the position of the text and check or not the shortcuts. Okay, I'm going to add another material on this plane here. So just take a texture here. Say this one okay when you create uh, a texture with this button it will create uh, a node shader here so that now you can here yeah, tweak the material so now you can just change directly in the viewport the texture okay i'm gonna show you now uh, i think something interesting if you want to add another material on the same mesh, you can do so. Add this one. Okay. And now you can do straight unwrap. And it will follow the curvature here. So just enter in the model. SX. I don't know, 20. Okay. And you can see it follows the curvature. If you rotate 90 degree. Here's what you got. We can do the same thing here with this uh, mesh. It has two materials here, one for the thickness here and one for the root. Just delete the UVs. Okay, so here I'm going to unwrap uh, this part. Okay. And to do so, I'm going to take only the unwrap, because here you have some uh, non-quad polygons. So unwrap, and now you can control me the mouse and scale the wood, okay. And we are going to straight unwrap this part, and the texture follow all the curvature. Same thing here. All right. Okay, let me show you um, another way to use the straight unwrap. So let's duplicate this one. Okay, let's say you don't have this kind of projection. You have something like this and you want to unwrap and follow the curvature. You can do like so. You have a warning here because you have end guns in your mesh, but that's not a problem. We're gonna fix it later. So now you can scale 
SX. Okay. And now you can fix the only part here, this end gone. You can project from a view on the top, like so, and scale like so to match the texture around. So as you can see in a few clicks, you can have something interesting with complex shapes. Let's say here, we're gonna add a new material. Yeah, maybe the same, but I don't know. Uh, let's add this one. Okay. If you want to add a cube gizmo, you got a cube gizmo here. By default, it uh, fits the, the size of your mesh. If you enter one, numpad one, numpad one, sorry, you have a gizmo with one meter by one meter, two, three, four, etc. If you hit numpad zero, it will fit the mesh, the, the mesh one more time. So let's say one to unstretch your texture, and you can. drive your gizmo like so. You can tweak the material and change the value here, saturation, etc. Okay. If you want to call back the gizmo now, you just control middle mouse and it will call back the gizmo again. So let's uh, see what's happened in the, with the plain gizmo. Okay, one texture. Oh, okay, this one. So we're gonna add just some cuts, all right. And we are going to add a plain gizmo here. So you can scale, etc. And if you hit tab, uh, shift tab, sorry, you can snap on the point like so and um, yeah this, there is another functionality with the the gizmo here when you are in plain gizmo this is the keep texture ratio so it doesn't uh, do anything because the texture is square here let's say we change the texture for something like this, for example. If you select the gizmo, you, with right click, you have the dimension. Okay. And it will keep the ratio of your texture. Okay. All right. I forgot to mention something important. Um, let's say you have here um, plain gizmo. Okay. If you want to apply your gizmo to handle later your uh, your mesh, just enter uh, validate and then here you can apply your gizmo and it will delete the modifier here and the gizmo stored in the UV gizmo here. So you can apply and then you can enter in modal and play with your UV. So I highly recommend not to delete the gizmo in the UV collection, but use uh, the apply button instead. Okay. To finish with the gizmo section, let me show you uh, a third type of gizmo uh, called the, the world gizmo. So let's start to add uh, a wall material with gizmo like so it fits the mesh like others just be sure to be in uh, under mode on material preview it won't work with solid uh, solid mode so it's uh, one for example I can stretch it okay and uh, the benefits of this gizmo is that you can add many materials on your mesh so let's add another world material with gizmo and let's say uh, 
this one. Okay, so your gizmo is fitting the selected faces. Okay. And let's add, I don't know, a third material here. Okay, so with this shortcut you, you've got here, with the A section, uh, A shortcut, sorry, you can switch between the different gizmo you have on your mesh. Okay. Like so. To drive uh, many textures in the, in the same shader, let me show you what's happened with this uh, carpet here. You can uh, add with B, you can add uh, a world gizmo for this texture. Okay, validate. You can add, do the same for this one. World gizmo, okay. And for the mix shader, you have another picture here. Okay, so you can add another world gizmo too. So now you have three different gizmo for the same shader, so that if you call one gizmo, you can scale the, the different uh, texture individually. So with A, you can scale the second one, and A, you can scale the pattern like so. If you want to add a one texture shader, you can hit B and add a one texture node. Okay, and now you can drive the U saturation directly from the this node. Okay, you can uh, change the glossy, strengths, contrast, etc. And you have without M here the same parameters than here. So let's come back, 5, saturation, etc. You have another item here in the pie menu. You can add uh, an image editor pass here. Let's say this one and it will open now your file in this uh, pointing Z. Okay, so you have to find your 2D software to work on the, the texture and just give the, give the pass. So now if I hit B and open in PSD, it will open your file here. Let's say this one, B, open in PSD, and you can go back and forth between the two software. Okay, finally, the last thing I wanted to show you is this cool feature that uh, drives the texture lights. It works only with cycle, so let's switch to cycle. And we are going to add uh, a spotlight. I'm gonna increase the value here. Okay, and let's duplicate this one. Okay, so here, the first time you run the pie menu, you have to add a texture pass. Okay, I want this texture, okay. And now you can add the texture you want here. And maybe you have to um, yeah, decrease the radius to have something more sharper. Okay, and for this one, you have to select let's say this one and we are going to increase the value like so and yeah, you can even change the temperature okay i think uh, that's it for today i hope it will help you to uh, handle this new version and uh, 
See you next time. Have a good day. Bye.